best ways to wake up, as always, with food here on the Mountain Morning Show. We're with Silver Star. This is Jeff Ward, who is the owner of Silver Star Cafe, and also Dave Bible, who is the executive chef. He's going to be cooking up some meat for us first thing in the morning. Nothing like some hearty meat. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Good. 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 Jeff, come on in here. Stand okay. a little closer. There sure. we go. Sure. Uh, so first of all, let's start up. Tell them what we're going to be making, and then Jeff, we're going to talk with you about the history. Okay. This is a braised short rib. Mm -hmm. um, it is sort of a refined pot roast, if you will. I'm using a chuck flap short rib, and we're going to sear it a little bit. Uh, so it's nice and dark uh, on all sides. Uh, we'll combine it with our uh, aromatics, which will, uh, in this case, our um, turnips, carrots, uh, a little bit of celery, some onion, and then we'll do a vegetable broth, braise it, and then uh, I'll show you how to put it all together with some red wine, some Brussels sprouts, some bacon. Perfect. So a good hearty meal, especially Indeed. one that would be good for during the winter, whether you're cooking it for it, whether mom's making it at home. Now, Jeff, let's talk about Silver Star Cafe. Sure. First of all, where is it? And it really combines sitting into a really comfortable atmosphere with great food. Yeah. Uh, we're located in the Silver Star condos at the base of the Silver Star chair at Park City Mountain Resort. So we're kind of tucked behind the Park City Golf Course. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a beautiful setting, great views of town, and uh, right, right adjacent to the mountain. Yeah, you have and some beautiful views. We'll show those on camera in just a second. Okay. It's what you can check out from uh, the patio. It's yep. beautiful. Yeah, you see all across town, all the way up the main street yeah. and everything. So mm -hmm. um, we've got a beautiful, it's a pretty small space and very comfortable, sort of rustic um, uh, uh cabin, if you will, decor, uh -huh. and, and uh, we just uh, enjoy people coming in off the hill. Or, or you get some good live music there as well, too, right? We do a live music series in the summer. Um, every Thursday night, we have what we call Plaza Palooza, so we do uh, live yep. music outside, a little grill, and, and uh, welcome the community up, and that's free. And uh, we're going to do a little live music this um, this winter as well, probably okay. Friday evenings, uh, and maybe something on the weekends outside on the, uh, on the plaza. There's some money shots. Michael of the that meat. That looks pretty good. I like those standing up. Those look good. Thank you. Big old hearty piece of meat. Uh, for so you can hear the sizzle. It just sounds. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so good in our it's studio. Like the breakfast of champions I know, right? Today. Breakfast of champions <laughs> today. But you know, you're in a great location because people get off the mountain. You know, you're always so hungry after a big ski day, right? You yeah. You see a lot of powder, or even if you're just on the groomers, I don't care where you're at, but you tend to get really hungry. So it's a great way to. Uh, head on down and get some good food. Absolutely. Close to uh, the mountain. Mm -hmm. You've actually had, you've had a lot of experience in the restaurant business here in Park City, but you've owned Silver Star for about two years now. That's correct, it'll be two years and the ski season. The developers originally uh, built out Silver Star, uh, the cafe, <clears throat> when, they, um, when they were finishing their project. And then uh, my wife Lisa and I purchased it from them um, end of ski season 2010. Made a few changes and kind of wanted to uh, put our touch on it. and. Um, been working on ever since. Yeah, and I've been in Park City be 27 years this January and, and really working in restaurants, working in restaurants the whole time. Which is always yeah. great to have somebody who knows the business in mm -hmm. the business, you know, it's helpful to have that. Now, Dave, you just uh, add a little wine, yep, frying just, pan. Yeah, deglazing the pan with wine, get mm -hmm. the fond off to, uh, you know, amp up your flavor a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now heating up a bit of the stock. We use a vegetable stock. This is okay. actually a pretty amazing, uh, if I do say so myself, uh, pretty amazing uh, <laughs> you can. versatile, versatile <laughs> product. Uh, we're just going to heat it up a little bit. You can use beef stock, you can use chicken stock, a little tomato paste, or veggie stock. Um, you can get the box of beef broth, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Just heat it up a little bit. I, I, so uh, add it to. Uh, Let's get a shot of this. We've got the meat in here. So just a second ago, we had the meat in the in the pan. Now we've got. Uh, there we go. Michael's going to grab a shot right over here of the meat on top of the vegetables, a little red wine on top of it, and then we're going to be adding a, the stock as well here in just yep. a little bit. But is this one of the favorites for summer, for winter? You know, it's or, it's meat. I love it all year round. But this is <laughs> more of a wintry, right? definitely dish. It's very hearty, mm -hmm. very warm, very comforting. Mm -hmm. um, it's fall off the bone. It's very mm -hmm. familiar. Uh, it's 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 a great dish, and it's also versatile. You can do. 10,000 different things with it. In this case, we're doing a little bit of Cabernet. You can mm -hmm. throw Chipotle's in there. Yeah. You can do, um, you know, port wine, and all sorts of different stuff um, to, to with this meat and just have a really exceptional meal. All right. Well, nothing like meat first thing in the morning, like uh, Jeff said. <laughs> Breakfast champion. So we're going to let this heat up, and mm -hmm. then we'll come back and we'll do the finished product of all of it. Right. All right, so we're going to be finishing things up here uh, with cooking with Silver Star Cafe. You can always check it out. Uh, we'll give you a little bit more information on it and finish up everything right when we come back after this. Hey, welcome back to the show. You're checking out a shot of what we had earlier. Now, this is what you do to the meat before it goes into the oven. We're cooking with Silver Star and a uh, great place to hang out, enjoy some great food, as well as a really comfortable setting. So, 
Dave, come on in here and get on camera. We've got uh, Jeff Ward, who's the owner of Silver Star Cafe, and Dave Bible, who is going to be doing all the cooking for us. Good. So we did the first half of it. And tell them just briefly, in case they're joining us, what was on all of that. Okay, so there's a variety of different aromatics, uh, turnips, celery, onions, carrots, uh, some fresh parsley, and then I seared the short rib or chuck flap, mm -hmm. and there's a little bit of uh, vegetable stock and red wine. Now at home, what you would do is you'd take about three layers of plastic to really seal this. Okay. Um, and then don't worry, it won't melt too much, uh, if at all. And then a foil, of, a piece of foil over that. Okay. And it takes about three hours. Three hours in the oven. Right, to, okay. to really break down. Now at that point, you have two choices. One, you can, um, you know, Put, put the meat on the plate, strain your vegetables out. You don't mm -hmm. want to use those vegetables that are in here because the essence is already in, in, in oh, the okay. sauce. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, then you can just go ahead and plate it up. Or, and I would recommend this, actually leave it in there overnight, in the juice. Let, really? the, let the liquid okay. re, re really back infuse, in. um, mm -hmm. keep it moist, and then bring it back like I'm doing here. So I put the meat back into the stock. Mm -hmm. um, I have brought this, uh, the broth, so basically I'm reheating the meat as I'm reducing the stock. Okay. I'm um, going to add a little bit of red wine to it. Um, and this is where you can really get creative with mm -hmm. everything. Uh, How so? Uh, like I said, I er mentioned earlier, you can do uh, chipotles in there, throw a little chipotle in there for a nice kick. You can do port wine, a variety of different uh, uh, wines and whatnot can give you very different sauces. Uh, you can do a variety of different sides with it, mashed potatoes, polenta, roasted potatoes, anything nice. that you want. It's very versatile. The key is not so much the recipe versus the methodology. Okay. Searing properly, bringing, you know, letting it reduce, um, which is what we're doing right now. And it's a really good hearty meal. You know, earlier in the segment we were saying if you come down off the mountain, Silver Star Cafe is just located at uh, close to Park City Mountain Resort. What a great way to replenish uh, your system mm -hmm. after a hard days of a hard day of work. So, right. you know, the cafe you've owned for about a couple years. You've yes. been in the restaurant business so for quite a few years, uh, for those of you just joining us. And, you know, how would you describe Silver Star in like two sentences? Two what sentences. Say I'd it? say we uh, our cuisine is uh, sort of regional American comfort food, um, mm -hmm. a little Western twist. Um, and I think it's just a very uh, authentic, comfortable, um, welcoming environment with with our our decor inside is very relaxing mm -hmm. and uh, we have a beautiful patio and mm -hmm. great views couches tables to sit outside and enjoy mm -hmm. that even even in winter on a nice day um, it's it's a really popular spot yeah and director Michael pop up some of those pictures um, we're gonna show you the decor inside but also the nice thing about uh, the cafe is they keep open their patio all year round so you're in your snow clothes why not you can go out on the patio they're also gonna be doing live music through the winter they do it through the summer mm -hmm. on Thursday nights but they're gonna be doing it through the winter as well so great uh, great setting on the inside and it's you know even if you're not skiing if you want to have a central location where you want to meet up with the family or you just want a good place to go this is a good place to yeah, go. Yeah, that's, that's a really important thing to mention. We have great, uh, you know, you can drive right up and, and stop up uh, for mm -hmm. lunch if you want. Uh, it's free and plentiful parking for dinner. Um, it's easy access. Um, and so I think, yeah, it's just we try to be inclusive and welcome everybody. Absolutely. It's a good place to check out. Locals are loving it. Lots of talk going on about it. And my poor director in the back, he, he worked so hard yesterday he didn't eat. So he's coming here and he was almost in tears. He was so excited to see food today. <laughs> we grabbed celery. So I know. He, uh, Dave was so nice. He's like, here you go. Here's some celery. <laughs> Which I think made him almost want to cry too. He's like, you know, give me the meat, man. So I have a feeling we're going to go to break here in just a second. And uh, Director Michael is going to like make a mean dash to come Imagine. claim the meat. So as we're plating it up, uh, what do we do to finish it off? So basically, um, so I did a little side of uh, Brussels sprouts, bacon, and red onions. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually going to be a dish that's pretty similar to what we're going to have on the menu. Um, uh -huh. we're, uh, we're actually pretty excited about the mm -hmm. uh, the uh, 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 the winter menu. Uh, I'm going to bring this plate okay, over so we can get ahead. shots of it, and I'll let you plate it up while I'm holding it. So you got to got to have your veggies, got to have your greens, right? As my yep. mother would always say. So you get your meat in there, mm -hmm. um, a little smidgen. And then, uh, now this would typically be just a little bit thicker. Okay. Um, and uh, then you just kind of glaze it over a little bit. Um, so it'd still be pretty flavorful. There you go. Nice. Um, All of those juices right on there. Something appropriately frilly. <laughs> appropriately frilly. I love that. Top. For a big, like, big guy like you, Dave, I love that you just said appropriate, appropriately frilly. Thank you. It's <laughs> a pretty good line. So here's uh, one of the plates you can check out. Oh, sorry, I didn't make it as pretty when I moved that plate. I made it 
not as pretty as when Dave had had it before it was moved. Thanks, Dave. There you go. It'll come out looking beautiful when Dave makes it. But check out Silver Star Cafe. Give them your location again and your website. Uh, 1825 Three Kings Drive, um, uh, which is at the base of Silver Star Chair. And our website is www.thesilverstarcafe.com. Wonderful. We'll, uh, we serve breakfast, lunch, dinner in the winter. And we'll start our breakfast menu when the Silver Star Chair opens, which I think is going to be the 17th. Perfect. Yeah. So plenty of things to check out. You can also go on to their website. You can see a whole lineup for the menu. Let's have, I want each of you to give me your favorite, if you can. Do you have a favorite menu item? Ooh, I really like, uh, we've just been playing with a, a cassoulet dish that we're going to do in the winter menu, which is hearty. It's white beans, uh, some chicken. Uh, we're, gonna, we're playing with a little bit of duck. Some house, Dave makes great sausage. We have some house-made Italian sausage in there, so that's a really hearty uh, fare, so I really like that. Um, I and, think I can hear my director drooling yeah, as we talk then, about all this. A close second, <laughs> so I don't know what sad. Dave's going to say, but we also have a great uh, mushroom stroganoff, which is a, a, a vegetarian nice, I was gonna say, yeah, vegetarian vegan. option of that classic dish, very hearty and, and satisfying, so I like both of those very much. Okay, so that's you can order that with owners. a steak, too, by the way, just in case. Oh, you just in case. <laughs> yeah, this is our meat guy, so he's all about everything with the meat dish. So that's uh, owner Jeff's stamp of approval. What would you give your stamp um, of approval or your favorite item? First of all, I, I stand 100% behind our pizzas. I think we have great pizza at, nice. at lunch. Um, that's good for a big crowd if you've yeah, got a lot of family yeah. coming in, the kids, whoever. Um, a dish that I'm really, really proud of, uh, I think uh, the cassoulet is, is, is really hitting me, uh, what we're doing too. with that. And uh, um, I've got a salmon dish. Uh, oh, I love salmon. Grill it, glaze a little bit of maple syrup, and it's served <sighs> with Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, bacon, onions. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, you're speaking uh, my uh, language. Yeah, I like it. It's so, But everything's, I mean, we, we nail it up there, I think. I, you know, it's, it's, it's a good... And you've only been there since about May, but you're loving yeah. it. It's, he's yeah. in a ski town now, and yeah. where did you move from before? <laughs> uh, the last place I was at was in Bountiful for four years. Bountiful. So Park City is just a little bit different than Bountiful. A little bit. Just a little bit. A little further away. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit farther away, but we're happy to have you up here you. at Silver Star Cafe. Make sure to check it out. You guys, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for We have to go us. to break, because if I don't go to break, we're going to get in trouble because my director needs his food. we got to keep it going. All right, we're going to be right back here on the Madison Morning Show after this. This has been given the stamp of approval by every single person here at Park City Television. Dave Bible was just in here from Silver Star Cafe. Wow, Dave, thank you, thank you, thank you. This meat is like falling apart. It is so good and so tender. Go check it out. It's just right there at Park City Mountain Resort. So we need to go eat a little bit more meat. So we're going to go through a break. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on the Mountain Morning Show. Mm, so good.